X-band range and data. In summary I am working on a network consisting of 8 CubeSat 1U that will be at an orbit altitude of 850 km. The question is that I am working on communications, the idea is that this network of CubeSats transmit and receive to Earth with UHF band, but that they also have a receiver and transmitter for X band to be able to receive and transmit to deep space. Enter image description here. Sorry for the basic images that I wanted to explain myself better. My question is, what power does the antenna have to have in order to reach Titan? Would you need a straight or dish antenna? I rely on the CubeSat Marco, but I don't think it's the same antenna to reach Mars as it is to reach Saturn. You want to use a X-band communication link from a CubeSat in Earth orbit to another CubeSat in orbit around Titan? I don't think it is possible, at least at an acceptable data rate. Let's compare this link to a deep space probe down to the DSN antennas in Goldstone, near Madrid and Canberra. Deep space probes use a transmitter with about 10 to 20 W power, a CubeSat may use about 1 W or only 100 milliwatts. The antenna dish of deep space probes is about 3 meters diameter, a CubeSat may use less than about 1 meter. The DSN uses fairly large antennas on Earth, 34 and 70 meters diameter. The DSN has very powerful transmitters, up to 20 kilowatts and even 400 kilowatts. The preamplifiers of the DSN antennas are low noise cooled with liquid helium. If we compare a 1 meter antenna dish to a large one with 34 meters, we get minus 30 decibels and minus 37 decibels for the 70 meters dish. Comparing 20 kilowatts to only 0.1 W is minus 53 decibels, 400 kilowatts to 0.1 W is minus 66 decibels. But when you want to receive very weak signals of about minus 100 to minus 120 dBm, you can't afford loses of minus 30 decibels. The distance from Earth to Saturn is about 8 to 11 astronomical units astronomical units, or about 1.2 times 10 to the 9 to 1.6 times 10 to the 9 kilometers. If we assume for comparison a 1,200 kilometers distance of a CubeSat to ground station on Earth, that is a free space loss of minus 120 decibels.